Hi, I'm Jim Dutton, one of the owners of Due West Foundation Repair. And these videos that you're about to watch are to train you how to properly install a pile, level a house, and make sure we don't have callbacks. Let's face it, nobody wants to have their house worked on a second time, and nobody wants to pay for it a second time. That includes us. So please, pay attention and follow the rules that you're about to learn. So let's learn how to drive a pile. All right, the first thing you do is stack your cylinders and you need to clean the ends of the cylinders off because when they're cast, you're gonna notice there's that little line that goes across and that line will have debris on it that needs to come off. And those holes down through the center that you saw, that's tapered. So you always wanna have the part with the line sticking up so that the taper is going the right way. Set it in the hole as though you're gonna pick the house up, set your jack on top and start driving. You see the water in the bottom? That's critical because not only does that lubricate, but it softens the soil and helps the pile go deeper in the ground. And the depth is everything. Now you see that aluminum pad? That's to drive the pile a little bit further into the ground so you can set the next cylinder on top. Without that added uh, depth driving, you're just not gonna fit the next cylinder on top. Now that water is critical enough as the soil is being softened and the pile is being driven, it's gonna pull the water down into the hole. You gotta continuously be adding water to keep it moist. After the pile is driven all the way, cut your rebar and you're going to set a little plastic cap over the pile, fill it with the mud and then pull your rebar down through that hole and tap it down into place. That grouts and seals so you're not continuously getting water in the bottom. Now this is a pile cap. After the pile is driven, you set the pile cap on top, put a jack on one side, cylinder on the other side, and pressure it up and then shim it off. You've got to keep the pressure on the piling the whole time, otherwise it'll try to spring up out of the ground. Once that's done, you're ready to move on to the next hole.